my best to defuse the situation and she just continued to antagonize. A private security guard is sharing his story after experiencing racism in downtown San Diego. Rodney Jackson recorded the incident earlier this week and spoke with ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala about what happened leading up to the outburst and how he was able to keep his composure. I don't care. You're a disturbing racist rant captured on camera by Rodney Jackson early Tuesday morning as he was working as a security guard outside of the Pinnacle on the Park high rise in the East Village. It kind of caught me off guard because I've never dealt with anything like that before. Jackson remains calm as the woman continues to harass him with the same racial slur. I don't care. You're a like a I am what I am. I started recording because just to save myself because of everything going on. Put your head down. I'm not putting my head down. He says he was actually trying to help her at the time by calling a cab after she was kicked out of a party at the high rise and has no idea why she turned on him. I grew up in San Diego, National City, in a multicultural neighborhood. I never looked at people by their color. The woman continues even after he politely asks her to stop. Hey, please stop calling me that. How hurtful is that for you to try to do the right thing and help someone and then get treated like that? Definitely sucks. Trying to be a, a person that helps someone out and they return such anger at you. Jackson tells me although he couldn't believe the hate he was experiencing, he had one thing on his mind. My mother and my grandmother, they raised me never to let anyone get me too upset to where it gets me out of my character. He says he hopes the painful video will serve as an eye-opening reminder that racism does still exist even in this community and he leaves anyone who's gone through a similar experience with this. Stand strong for yourself and don't ever let anyone belittle you or make you feel like less of a person. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. Jackson's family posted the video on social media to bring this issue to light. He says he's never seen the woman before this incident.